Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's Junk Journal With Me video. Today I'm having a little play in a couple of pages in my journal. I've just got a couple of photos here that, that I've printed out with the Canon selfie printer. So I'm just trimming those out. And then as always, I'm just flicking through my journal and choosing a page to work on or a couple of pages to work on. Just having a little flick through and just choosing whatever page sort of pops out to me. So I liked this page or these couple of pages. Um, I liked the colors and I felt like they would go well with the photos that I had. I have a picture of my kids at the playground and I also pulled out this little illustration from a book. It says A Day at the Playground. It's from the book A Day at the Playground and I just wanted to include that alongside the photo. At first I was just going to glue this down onto the page but then I really liked the back side of it as well and so I decided to stick it in with some washi tape so that you could flick it over like a normal page. I'm using these new tapes from Maggie Holmes or Crate Paper. I got some new tapes and they're really really pretty. They have really beautiful designs but they're not that sticky so I don't know if it's just the packs that I got but they're just not very sticky so they're more of a decorative thing and so on the back side of that I'm using some much stickier wide washi tape this tape is one that I got from washi Wednesday and it's so thick that I wanted to just trim it down a little bit so I just tried to tear it a little bit down the middle just to make it a little bit thinner and then I just overlapped some of that crepe paper tape over the top Then I'm just pulling out that photo of my kids at the playground and I'm just trying to work out where it looks the best. I really liked the way that it looked on top of that floral paper. That paper is a craft consortium paper and I just stuck the photo down with some double sided tape straight on top of the pattern paper. And then just added a little staple to make sure that it was going to be nice and secure. And then just playing around with some other bits and pieces that I have. These little cutter parts are from Crate Paper Sweet Story. I think, that, I think that's right. And they are really, really cute. And I really liked the way this floral tag looked along the bottom of that page. I didn't want to add too much to that page because I really like the illustration just the way it is. So I just put that little tag along the bottom and I just stapled it straight down onto the page. I also punched out the whole of the tag and I was thinking of putting some thread through there but I never got around to doing that. I kind of forgot to do that. I did want to add something up the top to cover up some of that text on the page and I'm just playing around with these illustrated doilies. These are from my Etsy shop, they're printable and I really liked the way this orange one fit over the top there and it also complemented the colours sort of matched in well so there's a little bit of orange on the floral paper beside it and then there's some orange in the pages before this page which I'm going to be working back onto as well so it kind of just helps tie all the spreads together. And I'm just folding it over so that I can see where to cut. I'm not going to glue that over the title of the book page because I think that's a really cute touch for this spread. So I just trimmed it and then I'm going to glue that straight down over the text. And then I decided to also include the other end of it on the opposite page. And I just kind of ended up mirroring the way that it was attached to the page. So they just sit sort of side by side. And these linens I really like using as journaling space, so I really like to just write inside them. I think it helps when you've got really busy pattern papers in your junk journal and you want to be able to write on top. It just gives you a nice little space to do that. Now, working back, I have a couple of other photos. I have this photo of me and my kids just waiting in the car. And I'm also going to use one of those cute little journaling cut apart pieces on the same page. 
In this spread and in this whole journaling process, I kept it really simple. I kind of never really journal like this, but I sort of ended up doing like one or two things per page. So it was really spread out across a lot of pages. And then after I went in and just added a bunch of writing, which helped fill in all the gaps and just helped tie all the pages together. I decided to add another little illustrated doily on this page and I liked the way that it looked underneath the photo just sort of um, overlapping each other and again that just is going to give me a little bit of journaling space. So I'm using both my glue stick and double sided tape to stick things down and then I also like to go in with a stapler here and there just to make sure that things are uh, really reinforced. Using some more of that pretty crepe paper tape, I really like this purple one. I think it's from the Heritage set of tapes and yeah, it's really cute. So I just put a little bit of that above and below the photo. I also have this little chocolate wrapper. So this is just a little chocolate wrapper from a chocolate that my husband gave me and I just wiped off all the inside to make sure that it was clean and I'm just going to stick that down with some double sided tape as well. Um, I recently had a comment from someone on like just a really old video about how why would you put like wrappers in your journal that's not meaningful it's just junk like put something meaningful in your journal. I just want to say like anything can be meaningful to you there's always a story behind things and that's kind of my whole method of journaling so even though it just looks like a chocolate wrapper to you to me it's got a memory behind it and that's what makes it meaningful to me so i don't think you should ever feel silly about putting anything in your journal no matter what it is if it has a memory attached to it that you would like to remember or look back on then why not put it in your journal i think that's what it's for now I have a couple more photos that I'm playing with, so one of my daughter on her bike and then another one of my kids with the cats and on this page, this uh, children's book page, I really liked the way this photo looked, the one with my daughter on her bike. I felt like the colours matched in really nicely and again this is like the only thing I stick on this page because I'm thinking that in between all the illustrations I can just journal and um, that's what I ended up doing. I just added a little bit of tape. I also have this little laminated pressed flower and I'm just thinking that this might add a little bit more interest to the page as well. So I'm just flicking through and just trying to decide where to put it. I liked it on the back page, the first page that I worked on. And again, I just attached that to the edge of the page with some washi tape. So again, I used one side with the uh, William Morris wide tape and then I used the other side with the crepe paper tape just because it's not quite as sticky as that William Morris tape. And then I just stuck the little scrap down on the page as well. I didn't want to waste it so I just found a place to layer that and yeah, I think it looks cute. Now going to stick that photo down, I'm just not sure what to do with that yellow page that's in between at this point. It's really busy. I don't want to cover it up though because it's really cute. It's got like uh, different illustrations from little kids and so I decided just to stick this little uh, journaling card or phrase piece down on top of the page. I felt like the yellow in it complemented well and I didn't really feel like I needed to do anything else to that page. I just thought it was interesting to look at. And then just stuck that photo, that last photo down with some double sided tape and pulled out the label and stuck it just below the photo so that I can annotate the photo. Then on the back side of that, I decided to do a little washi 
um, swatch page with all the new tapes that I got. So I got two packets of crepe paper tape. I got, I think one's called Day to Day and the other one's Heritage. And I just decided to stick a little swatch of each tape down on this page. It ended up fitting really well and it just kind of also filled in the page because I wasn't sure what else to put there. I ended up stretching this journaling across so many pages that it felt like everything was really spaced out and I kind of had some awkward little spaces to fill but I think this is really fun. I always like to do a washi swatch page. I think I do one in almost every journal that I do so I think it's really fun and interesting to keep a record. And then I just put a little half label along the bottom and you can see now I've done all my journaling off camera and all I'm doing now is just going through and adding some stickers. All of these stickers are from uh, the Maggie Holmes sticker book. This is also a new purchase that I finally got my hands on and so I'm just playing around with the stickers. I'm going a little bit sticker crazy just adding them wherever I think I can. I really like the way stickers add so much more detail. I feel like it makes the pages look more finished because it just fills in all the little gaps and it adds more layering. It just makes it look a lot more put together, I feel like. So um, lately, adding stickers has always been my last step. Actually, I think I've always added stickers as my last step and I feel like it just takes it to the next level. So I really like doing that with stickers. just filled in the date of when I did this journaling session and here you can see the finished pages up close so like I said everything was really spaced out I didn't do anything too like interactive or interesting I feel like it's very simple but I like how it turned out so I hope you guys enjoyed watching my process today I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you in my next video bye